Hey guys, I decided to play Vexana because I saw a lot of requests about her in the comment section. But after I picked her, one of my teammates just decided to go AFK. Even though we had a great start, it was all in vain because he never came back. I was trying to persuade him by showing him my win rate and that I know what I was doing. But in the end, it didn't work out. Sad face. Anyway, I decided to queue up again and was hoping that in the next one, nobody will go AFK because of my Vexana pick. Interesting enough, one of the players from the previous match ended up in my team again, so if we end up winning this game, he will be a witness that we could have won the previous match as well. Winky face. If you beat her like this, you will be quite surprised at how much damage her ult can inflict, and you will be able to see that throughout this gameplay. And to make this even more interesting, our Hanabi is in Legend 5, while some of the enemies are mythical glory and none of them are below mythic rank. Absolutely fascinating. Vexana is a great mage at clearing the wave extremely fast, which will allow me to rotate to the other lanes a lot quicker. That was a great setup by Akai and me. I think it should have been an easy double kill, but that's okay, because things like this could happen. I'm mentioning this because by not killing Hayabusa, it will have a butterfly effect later on. Since we didn't kill Hayabusa in the previous gank, now he can take the turtle. The turtle. You know like in movies and anime, when the good guys don't completely kill the villain, and then he just makes the life of others completely miserable. Yup, something like that. Paquito was completely destroying our Thamus. Well, we definitely are at a disadvantage now, but I was determined to win this one because I wanted to prove to that person that went AFK that we could have won the previous match as well. But things are starting to look quite dicey. Paquito is having a field day against Amus.
Okay, maybe we actually cannot win this. I guess Vexana is completely useless after all. Or that's what a failure will say. You only fail when you stop trying. Well, this is definitely not looking too promising. Once Vexana gets Lightning Truncheon, her ultimate damage will increase drastically because her ult can proc the Lightning effect twice. Well, this is a complete domination by the opposition, but if we somehow manage to make a comeback, will it be a great content? Especially if I get the MVP. Winky face. moment. They really aren't joking around in this game. They want to completely shut us down. Since they have such a huge advantage, they are just taking objective after objective, which is definitely the right move. This is looking quite hopeless. The score is 6 to 20. At least we managed to protect our inhibitors for now. The enemies are starting to get overly confident, which is exactly what I was hoping for. If we can keep picking them off like this, we definitely have a chance at making a comeback. Well, 
he's a free lord. Poor Paquito, we just use 4 ults to kill him. XD We managed to kill some of them, but we still lost two inhibitors, so in the end I think they got the better trait. Right now, all we can do is keep defending and not go out of the base. Bexana is great at clearing waves, so there's that. It's starting to seem like we have a little bit of hope. I thought there was a high chance somebody would be in the middle bush. Look here. Kaya still has 2k HP, but Vexana ult is so scary that it will completely consume all of his HP. Absolutely naughty. Kaya now wants my nuts because he knows who is their biggest threat. I have asserted my dominance and now Hayabusa is the one scared of me. Smiley face. Hayabusa is on the run, so taking the Lord now is definitely the right choice. Okay, that was close. If Lolita managed to steal the Lord, I think the game would have been over for sure. Just look at the damage.
We are getting desperate to end the game, but we have to regain our composure and play smarter. Paquito is lurking around. I think he's trying to kill our squishy backline. What a golly Akai. Nana is the only one left alive. We should try to end the game now. Well, at least we got the Lord, so it was still okay. This was definitely the most insane Vexana game I have ever played. Victory! I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.